the ham. But we can do Kylo yeah. small ham. Guys, guys, I'm on this. You do it. They might be worse. Tuning in, this is part two of our survival series. We've been surviving here, and just a minute ago, there were literally coyote wolves outside. If you guys don't know what coyote wolves are, well, they're a mix between coyotes and wolves, and we just heard a bunch outside. We were having a lot of fun with all these dollar store items until Jake brought a can of ham, put it outside, and I guess attracted some kind of wolf, or there was something outside of our fort. It seems like they've gone away, but uh... So yeah guys, as of right now, it is 11 p.m. at night. This is part of our 24 hour challenge. If you guys didn't see our last episode, we are surviving in the woods with only $40 worth of dollar store items. So as you guys can see, we have our fort here. Logan's got his section over here. I've got my side here. I've got a yoga mat for my mat down here. I've got pillows, blankets. We even got Mr. Fluffy over here and some food, which might have been the issue that got us into this situation right now. I did buy a can of ham that may have smelt really bad and may have attracted some sort of animals. And considering we have to stay here for the rest of the night and for a good part of tomorrow, Logan, we need some defensive actions in play and quick. Logan, you're eating chips. All right, well, as of right now, we've just kind of been chilling. Uh, we still have a lot of time left in the challenge, but I don't think I'm going to bed anytime soon knowing that there's some stuff out there. We do have some defensive items. Like I do have a bow and arrow over here. We also have a drum set that I can you know, use to scare away the Kiowas. When I heard whatever that was outside, I kind of froze up. I should have grabbed either the drum kit here or even our air horn to kind of scare them away. Other than the coyote wolves though, guys, everything has been going pretty well so far. Uh, it has been extremely cold out. It is completely dark outside. I can actually show you guys a little bit outside here we got our flashlights so as you guys can see it is pretty much pitch black we do have a little bit of a creek over there which is kind of where we're surviving by and just sticking my hand out here it is freezing out what type of weather you want to be inside with a hot cup of cocoa Lo logan why why are you playing with the slinky right now man because it helps with the stress man all right get oh, oh, shh, shh. i don't know if that was like Something jumping in water or what? I heard something outside. I don't know if you guys heard that. I think we have another problem. I'm gonna grab my shoes and go out and see if I can Jake, see. Do not go out there. Guys, I can't believe Jake's going out. All right, I'm not really seeing anything right now. As far as I can tell, there's nothing in here. But we definitely heard in the previous episode, like some sniffing or something. There was some sort of animal outside of our fort that was like smelling around. I think it might've been the canned ham that I brought. As of right now though, I'm not seeing anything out here. All right, that works. All right, guys, Logan gave me the massive light to kind of do a double check. He is uh, freaking out in the fort right now. So I'm going to go over here and see. There was definitely something outside of our fort. Like, whoop, okay. There was definitely something outside of our fort, whether or not it was a bear or a coyote or just a raccoon. I know when we first started doing these, I was scared of raccoons. Uh, but now I really wish it was just a raccoon. All right, let's go check over here. Guys, check out this massive wall. Oh! Did you guys see that? Oh. I don't know if that was a rock or something moved from up above. Okay, okay, okay. Maybe we don't go over and check out this wall. Maybe we just go back. Maybe we just go back. Logan, get the fort open. We're coming back. Okay, that wasn't good. That wasn't good. I don't know what that was, but something's moving up there. Something. Every time I turn this, I can hear it. I don't know if it's my mind playing tricks on me or what, but something's here. Oh! Okay, something's moving, something's moving. We gotta go, we gotta go. Logan, Logan, did you hear that? Dude, what's going on? Dude, I can literally hear wolves howling over there. I said we tape up the door. I don't think a wolf's gonna break our cardboard. And maybe we just don't think about it. All right, there's wolves in the forest. That's a, that's what a forest is. Look, guys, the whole reason we're doing this challenge is because we want to do an epic survival mission in the winter. We want to go dog sledding or winter camping. And we, if we can't do a dollar store challenge in the woods, then we can't do that. I'll play some play some music on the drums to make us relax. Okay, Jake, that's good, but it's not relaxing. But I got it for two dollars. I'm actually pretty impressed that we found this at a dollar store. All right, I'm gonna stay here, with Mr. Fluffy. He's gonna protect me. I've got my blanket. Logan, you got your blanket. Hopefully, wolves can't break down cardboard. I mean, why would they break down cardboard? Even if they thought there was food in here, which there is. I mean, there's not. We have right? the horn. The horn is definitely our best defense. Keep hearing things, guys. Okay, let's just go to bed. All right, I'm gonna sleep with this. 
let's uh, not think about it. It's already late, guys. It's getting close to 12 p.m. So uh, we'll uh, we'll head to sleep. Hopefully nothing happens during the night and update you in the morning. I just got up after a long, cold night. I don't think Logan's up yet. He's uh, sleeping like a baby over there. Logan. Logan, it's wake up time. Wake up time, Logan. All right, he's not getting up, so I'm gonna have to use this on him. It's the only way we can wake him up. I don't know any other way. Logan! No, dude. <laughs> <laughs> it's wake up time. What's up, dude? <laughs> oh, no, I got on the new Papa Jake merch. Oh, dude, you destroyed it. it smells so bad. <laughs> it's not a lit day in the box. Stretch. Yeah, last night was uh, was scary. It was one of the scariest nights I've ever spent in a box fort, but uh, we are up. It was extremely cold. I did stay nice and warm though, and this pillow actually helped me out a lot. <laughs> Logan legitimately slept on the foam dice. I also had Mr. Fluffy here keeping me warm, so that was good. Um, but yeah, we are up. Brand new day. Ugh. Last night, as you guys know, there was uh, some wolves or something outside. I don't know. You guys can let us know in the comments what you think those were. Uh, we also noticed in the middle of the night that a lot of bugs were starting to come in here. I don't know if there's any left, but there was like a ton of ants crawling in here. There's just ants like crawling around on the ground. I'm not gonna lie, the ham might have been the worst idea. It, defi it definitely made the survival challenge harder. It's a brand new day, so why don't we, uh, why don't we go outside and see what it looks like and uh, see how the fort held up overnight. All right, guys, let's go check what it looks like outside. Wow, now that is the perk of surviving a night in the forest. Logan, check out that view, man. Look at that. Look at the beautiful view we get to wake up to. Let's uh, let's go outside. Oh, it is cold outside, guys. Whew. Hopefully there's no wolves still out there, but I will head out. I gotta get Jake back for that prank. That's just, you know, that's absurd. We're gonna have to get Jake back. Here we are, guys. Brand new day. I just finished the night, and uh, it is really chilly outside. The box fort actually got really warm during the night. It was definitely cozy. I'm not even kidding. Like. It's the same as surviving in a tent, um, but as you guys can see, waking up to the nice creek here, it's like where we're gonna have our morning breakfast, you know, beside a creek, and yeah. Fort held up really nice, didn't have any issues with it during the night, uh, other than the wolves. I also don't think it rained at all, but it kinda got like damp, so I'm actually really glad that it held up and didn't have any issues. But now that it is morning time, guys, I think it's time for us to have some breakfast and kinda get ready for our day surviving. Also, last night when we were falling asleep, me and Logan were talking, and guys, we had a really cool idea, all right? I know we've done a bunch of 24 hour challenge before in the forest and stuff like this, but what would you guys think if we did like a three day to four day survival challenge in the woods? You, you guys know we're doing this to get ready for some winter survival challenges, but what if we did something like this? but for three days and every day we added on to the fort you know we could have a bunch of time so you know today we could add on make a roof for the fort we could expand it we can make a fire pit we can even make like some defenses and traps so we don't have to worry about wolves or bears or anything like that let me know what you guys think it would be like minecraft in real life but papa jake surviving for three days if you guys think that would be a good idea comment down below and smack that like button let's try and crush 30,000 likes on this video but uh yeah it's gonna be a lit day let's go get logan oh you got a little you got a little something on you huh? i know Jake. all right yeah there's stuff all over so i think the one thing that i learned after this challenge guys is if we do another dollar store challenge like this we need to spend a lot more of our budget on food i was so Ooh. hungry last night i mean i did mess up with that ham but we definitely could have brought more food maybe some more legit meals but I'm really excited because I saved something super awesome for breakfast. Logan, what's on the menu for our breakfast today? Today's menu for breakfast is the brand new merch. You gotta cop it, just came out. So guys, check out the description down below and let me know if you guys do grab some merch. Be sure to tag me on Instagram, at PapaJakeTE. If you do pick up some, I'll be following you guys over there. Okay, on a real note, Jake, breakfast equals Fruit Loops. Okay, all right, so Logan's having Fruit Loops for breakfast, but I decided to have a more luxurious meal. I'm gonna be having my can of beans cooked over a nice survival fire. All I need to do is find some twigs. It's a bit wet out here, but I think I can find some. And we're gonna cook this bad boy up old fashioned style. Plus Logan, you don't have any milk. How are you gonna eat those? The dollar store didn't have milk, so it's dry cereal for me today. Well, we also have some nice luxurious Perrier because Logan thought that sparkling water is what you drink on a camping trip. I guess we can have some of that. And uh, orange juice, that, that actually makes sense. But before we get into this guys, if I'm gonna have my nice warm beans, I need to go and get some firewood because I gotta start a fire. Now luckily I did spend one of my dollars 
at the dollar store on some matches. This is all I could find, so I'm really hoping that I'm able to start one with this. Normally we have like a fire starter or something like that, but uh, let's go head into the woods and start looking for some firewood. Also, Logan, I was thinking after breakfast, dude, how cool would it be to have a little target practice challenge with my dollar store bow and arrow? Ooh, and I could use my Nerf gun. I go look for some wood, you start making a target, so when I get back after breakfast, we have a little challenge. All right, guys, now the key to finding some fresh, nice, right firewood with Papa Jake is you need to look for dry and dead sticks. There is a lot of dry and dead sticks. I also won't need that many because I only need a small fire to actually cook these beans. So uh, let's, uh, let's go around and see if we can find some. It is like a massive kind of like ravine leading down here and look what I found. I have no idea what that is. I can't really get down there because it is kind of a steep hill. It's a little bit hard to see on the camera, but check that out. Guys, let me know in the comments if you have any idea what that could be. That thing looks uh, really interesting to find out here in the middle of the forest. All right guys, so I made it back and I grabbed some firewood here. I got some larger pieces as well as some smaller twigs. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna make the fire in this kind of little basket here so it's easier to control and also keeps everything all in one place. All right guys, <clears throat> got our fire going. Now we got a nice little cooking fire on the way so I'm gonna open up our can of beans and start heating this up over the fire this is gonna be so good all right guys let's get our beans nice and propped up here on the side and we're just gonna let that heat up while Logan eats his Fruit Loops all right guys like I said Fruit Loops for breakfast is the best breakfast mm -mm -mm. Fire just about went out, but it got the beans nice and toasty. As you can see, it's almost like bubbling at the top here. They're kind of boiling a little bit. I can enjoy some nice beans while outside my box fort, while surviving in the woods. I don't know what more you could want on a nice breakfast day. How is it, Jake? Those are delicious. Is it everything you hope for? Mm, perfect. And before I put the fire out, I do want to remind you that if you are ever making a fire, make sure you have parent supervision and make sure you always have a way to put out the fire because something like that could turn into a big fire very quickly. So we got our water here. I'm going to use it to put out the fire, make sure it's all nice and out, and then we'll get to target practice. By the way, Logan, I don't know if you know this, but did you know there was a kidnapping in these woods? Kidnapping? It's okay though. He woke up. Oh, you mean there was a kid taking a nap in the forest? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, Jake. That's why I brought the drum set. That's, so I, so that's I can a do funny joke, comedic. Jake. All right, Jake. So while you were out getting sticks for your bean fire, I was making this target. So I thought we could have a target practice with my Nerf gun versus your bow and arrow. You think my dollar store bow and arrows can't take on your dollar store plastic blaster thing? So we each get three shots from this side of the fort. Let's pretend that this target over here is a bear coming and attacking our fort. Now we're gonna see whose item would have been better. Closest to the target wins. We add up the points after three shots. Shot number one. We're gonna, we're gonna cut that out, right? Nope, so. there's no cutting that out. That was shot number one, Jake. Okay, all right, all right. shot number one. And so warm -up. far, you are definitely losing. All right, shot number two. Shot, shot number two. Shot number two. <laughs> no, num number three. Well, that one goes far, <laughs> come on! Now it is time for my blaster, and I mean, I just gotta hit the target to win. In three, two, one. Miss, 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 miss. Uh. Oh yeah. It looks like Logan may have won this challenge. I mean, these are dollar store items. So next time, maybe I'll have to maybe I'll have to step it up, buy something a little bit different. But uh, but guys, I think this is where we're going to be ending off this 24-hour forest survival challenge. It has been a bunch of fun. It has been really cold. It has been really scary. We have had so much fun and learned a lot of experience. And of course, guys, like I mentioned below, if you guys think we should do like a survival week where we keep adding on to the fort and keep expanding, hit the like button down below because guys, we are are ramping up so that we can do a winter camping slash dog sledding challenge it is gonna be so awesome and we'll see you guys next time for another awesome video